when it comes to the Beatles, and specifically John Lennon, few people knew him as intimately as our next guest. May Pang was Lennon's lover during the infamous Lost Weekend that lasted 18 months between 1973 and 1975. The docu there is a documentary titled The Lost Weekend, A Love Story that is now streaming and it explores that 18th month relationship. Let's take a look. Yoko walked into my office and said, John and I are not getting along. I want you to go out with him. Well, are you kidding? I can't do that. He's my employee. He's my boss. He's your husband. I was 23, and my first boyfriend was John Lennon. Lost weekend that everybody keeps talking about. Uh, it wasn't so lost. People saw more of John than they had in the previous years. Jam with Mick Jagger. May Peng is here with us today. <laughs> Good to have you. Wow. 23 and John Lennon is your first boyfriend. Oh I know. Goodness. Can you believe this one? I no. even I can't believe it to this day. <laughs> first, so we say it's called The Lost Weekend, mm -hmm. but it was 18 months that you yes. all were together. What, um, how do people know about The Lost Weekend? What, what was, how they do you get They hear about the antics that John, you know, hanging out. We went out to LA and just to be clear, people thought that Yoko sent us out there and it wasn't, uh, it was John's idea actually. And we went out there and he saw all his friends, you know, all his like Ringo and Harry Nielsen and Alice Cooper. And of course it was a little, I guess, troublemaking when every, all the boys <laughs> got together Can and it made the papers. Since John was the new kid on the block, he was the one that got most notice. So, uh. and everybody, would, Ask them about it, you know, and he go, oh, it was a lost weekend. So it became that phrase, uh, okay. and that's where we are. Okay, and during that period of time, you had a camera with you, right? And oh, you were yeah. just taking photos constantly, is that? Well, it was taking, because I love taking pictures. Okay. So I would just take pictures whenever I felt like it. it wasn't, okay. so, but I had carte blanche to do whatever I want, but I didn't take it all the time. So it was a, yeah. quite an interesting time. So I didn't realize that some of the pictures I did take would end up being what I'm doing now, where people yeah. can see it and it becomes iconic in, in right. a way. Right, right. I want people to kind of know the story because they know John and Yoko, but you were John's assistant, right? How did you and John get together? I want you to tell that story. Oh, that's, <laughs> that <laughs> story, uh, people have a hard time with this one too. Uh, I was working for both of them and Yoko walked into my office one day and they already had problems in the office, you know, in their home, in, right. in the home life. And she said, I got to talk to you. And I'm looking and thinking, oh, it's another one of an idea that she has. And I'm sitting down with the pencil and pad ready. And she goes, you know, John and I are not getting along. And I go, oh, I'm sorry to hear. Meanwhile, you know it. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, she goes, he doesn't, you know, you don't have a boyfriend. Maybe you should go out with him. And I'm going, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not interested. She goes, oh, I know you're not, but you'd be good for him. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So this oh went gosh. on for, I, wow. I didn't know what to say. And it was only later on that John ended up, uh, he, you know, he started pursuing me. And I thought, all right, now this where is, are we going? Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. The life you've lived, because that was at 23, right? Yes, it was 23. <laughs> wow. All right, wow. so you were in town because mm -hmm. you were showcasing us all of these incredible photos that you took. What do you have next time. to you? Well, this is a special photograph, which I didn't even, John actually said, you got to take some photos. And I wasn't even going mm -hmm. to. And it's... Here we are, this is like John ready to sign the dissolution papers of the Beatles back in the big day. And this is, we were on our vacation with, um, with Julian, his, uh, son, his oldest son, and we were down at Disney World at the <laughs> Polynesian Resort and the two lawyers, John's personal lawyer and another lawyer that represented the group, came down with all these papers and and John's going, May, come on in here and, s and take, take some pictures. Photos. Oh, my oh my goodness. And I wasn't even going to do it, but yeah. Here it is. And now you're putting all of this on display. People can come see the photos and talk to you, right? They can about talk to these me. stories. I'm there the okay. whole time. Okay. And, you know, they're going to see some of the photos. I didn't put out everything because it would be a yeah. little bit bigger than we have here. <laughs> but it's, it's, it gives you an idea of what was around. Yeah. And I took one of the last photos of John and Paul together. Mm. Not the last time we saw him, or, or him and, and Linda. But it was one of the last photos that was ever taken of the two of them. Mm. Wow. wow. Okay. And so yeah. people can ask you stories mm -hmm. and you'll share yeah. so Get much more because we have so many <laughs> questions. We want to say yeah. this is at the Nepenthe 
Gallery mm -hmm. in uh, Alexandria. Alexandria. Okay, and it okay. starts tonight, goes through the weekend, this showcase. And again, you can come out, see May's work, but also talk to her and hear so many incredible stories. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you. thank you. It's just amazing. I have so many more questions. I know. And <laughs> you want to say the documentary, uh, The Lost Weekend, is streaming now and on DVD as well.